5.13 a.m. and my horrendous charging port and I are both up to get going to the place where I can ignore all my responsibilities, Hawaii. At times like this, it's mandatory to have a breakfast of Hawaiian bread as well, because I mean look, I'm, I'm going to Hawaii, I just said that. So after getting an Uber, we got to the airport when my parents conveniently decided to abandon me to look after the luggage, but then I decided nah, I'm born different and decided to explore the airport. I found these very cool sunglasses, but while I was trying them on, there was an employee that was glaring intensely as if my exhausted running on only Hawaiian bread self was going to steal any Versace sunglasses. Enjoyable montage, I know. But then I was interrupted by lunch, which was literally just a piece of bread filled with cheese and also an oatmeal cookie. I got to say I was kind of disappointed I didn't get the usual airplane tray of food with bread and butter, but I suppose that's cheap flights for you. you now isn't that a cute train that I was about to take? Okay, never mind. The incident it parked is shut down, so we had to walk, walk to our rental car. Not surprised. But our first meal in Hawaii was in this cute restaurant circle, not as cute as me, <laughs> and we ordered a spicy shrimp that came in this cocktail bottle, these delectable, probably fried seven times fish tacos, and coconut shrimp. Believe me, I'm completely aware of how incredibly horrendous this lighting is, but you just gotta trust that I was eating this up. Now here's a little tour of the Airbnb that my family got for the trip because Airbnbs are better than hotels in every possible way and I will not be listening to any counter arguments. The best part is probably this kitchen and balcony that overlooks the pool but also the ocean and all the sunrises and sunsets. For dinner, we made some noodle soup because even though our Airbnb was really great and comfy, it was pretty far from any good restaurants. You know, Hawaii is great. One thing that's not so great, however, was waking up at 3am every day because my mom wanted to be faster than all the other tourists. This was made somewhat better by an immaculate bagel with avocado and fried egg for breakfast, and also the sunrise was pretty cool. It's shocking how different the world seems when you don't always just wake up at 1pm. So on the first day, I went on something called the Road to Hana, which is basically a road longer than any of your relationships, because it takes legitimately the entire day to complete. What is Hiking. On the way, there's a lot of stops for hiking and scenery, so I went on a little hike in the middle of the jungle. And then I also stopped at this black sand beach where the water was so clear, I wish my skin would take in some inspiration. Anyways, next stop was this waterfall, which becomes significantly less cool if I told you that it took 8 hours in the most humid and hot weather straight uphill to get to. So, I've just hiked for 8 hours. I'm gonna get Thai food at a food truck. So I don't know if you can't immediately tell if food is busting or not, but this food truck was actually just incredible and I also love Pad Thai. And something about only having half a bagel at 3am and not eating anything until now, 3pm, makes food a lot more appealing. eating in the car because there's too many flies outside but this is so good so good like you don't even understand i basically didn't have an entire meal the entire day so then we visited the supermarket and got some ice cream because there were layers of sweat ingrained in every cell of my body and eating this in front of my nice balcony as i watched the sunset not a bad way to end a tiring day oh would you look at that 409 a.m and i'm up again to make another immaculate everything but the bagel toast with avocado and egg this morning i was up so ungodly early again because my mom decided snorkeling why not at 6 a.m in the morning so after stumbling in literally the pitch dark we finally got to our boat and got some croissants fruit and coffee to eat as we watched the sunrise And of course, I ended up going snorkeling and probably flashing everyone as well. When we were cruising back to land, we also managed to see a lot of whales also passing by. But despite most of us seeing whales for the first time, this guy in a red shirt seems to be having a bit of a bad time. So, do you happen to be struggling like the red shirt guy in that video? If so, today's sponsor, BetterHelp, would like to help you out.
As a senior in high school, I've been experiencing a lot of anxiety dealing with college applications, grades, and thinking about the future, and I finally found help with BetterHelp, a network of over 20,000 therapists with broad ranges of expertise that give you access to help that may not be available in our area. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you, and you can talk to your therapist in a private, online environment at your convenience. All you have to do is fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you get matched with your therapist in under 48 hours with completely confidential, unlimited messages and video and phone sessions. With with my therapist Maria, I was able to learn new coping skills and techniques to better manage my stress and anxiety. Finally, you can request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime. So if you want, you can join the 2 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist, and you can get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash anything. So as you can see, this phenomenal specimen weighing probably 12.7 pounds and has blue green padded feathers is a peacock. If you weren't able to tell, that's heavily concerning because personally peacocks used to be my favorite animals, but the point is, there was a literal peacock with all its feathers fanned out right next to my car. Spectacular. What's also spectacular are these frozen dumplings from some random grocery store, along with some shrimp, edamame, and avocados for dinner. Sure, it's really simple, but being able to eat in the comfort of our own Airbnb is quite nice. Black leather. You and I would go go it together, babe. Black so white feathers. You and I would go go it together. I'm aware that I had the same breakfast for all days, but it's so good. On the third day we went to on the third day, we went to check out this super tall summit with volcanoes. We were basically above the clouds the entire time, and I also realized that I was completely and utterly freezing my entire lifespan off because I had dressed assuming that it would be extremely hot and humid like it usually is in Hawaii. But something about being at 10,000 altitude makes the weather just a little bit different. Anyways, after our car luckily didn't fly off the extremely windy pass, we stopped by at some local diner and got some chicken tonkatsu and Korean barbecue with rice. I then got sunburnt to the point where my skin was not only as red as your aunt's lipstick, but also my skin was quite literally peeling off. But home cooked cucumber and egg stir fry, tofu and tomato stir fry, and sweet potato right when I got back home was also pretty nice. I'm also fully aware of the very little amount of Hawaiian food that I consumed on this trip, but truly nothing beats eating in your Airbnb bed with AC as you watch the sunset. So it is the final morning, which also means this is the final bagel. You're welcome, you're finally free from this endless cycle of avocado and egg bagels. But because it was our last day, we also cooked up whatever we saw left, which were these dumplings and also 20 boiled eggs. After getting utterly soaked hiking up this mountain, we stopped to find a hidden gem of a restaurant. It was literally in the middle of a warehouse, but there was still almost a 30 minute long line, and we ended up ordering the miso ramen and also this fried chicken. Right before dinner, we also stopped at a mall and looked around before deciding nothing was as appealing as this matcha and lychee ice cream. And now, for the second to last meal of the whole trip, we found this Mediterranean place called Pita Paradise, and we got obviously a lot of pita bread with hummus, but also falafels, lamb skewers, and salad. This might have tasted better if I hadn't extinguished the life of an entire chicken for lunch, but it still did the job at keeping me full until 11pm when my dad decided to buy a ton of Pan Express mere seconds before getting on the plane. Anyways, that was my trip to Hawaii. I hope you enjoyed and have a nice day.